Australia did not get the away goal they desperately wanted in Honduras but set air riding a wave of confidence heading into the second leg after a dominant performance away from home and an unbelievable recovery flight. With the tie poised at 0-0 at the halfway stage of the playoff and the Socceroos' hopes of reaching Russia remaining in the balance, the players are beaming with confidence having claimed a major morale victory and glowing from a lavish trip back to Australia. They were unlucky not to have inflicted a rare qualification defeat upon Honduras at their intimidating home venue in San Pedro Shula having outplayed the Central Americans in the first leg. It did deliver them an advantage strictly in terms of the result, but that matters little for a group of players who landed in Sydney knowing they are more than capable of dictating terms against Honduras despite having conditions against them. The pitch at Estadio Olimpico was closer to a paddock than a playing surface. The temperature hot, humidity sapping and the atmosphere so loud the players called to communicate with one another on the field. There are massive positives to take, there's plenty of talk of Honduras being a tough place to go and get a result. I felt we were pretty comfortable throughout the game and that's due to hard work and sticking to the plan and we could have got something more out of it and won it, Australia defender Bailey Wright said. Much of the confidence within the camp has to do with the incredible journey home that PUT the players on a chartered flight leaving immediately after full time. The rear of the plane was turned into a physio's room with massage tables fixed above the back seats. The timing of the flight gave the Socceroos an additional 24 hours in Sydney than Honduras, who are travelling on commercial airlines with several members travelling in economy. However, the conditioning team in short Australia were all but adjusted to the time difference upon their arrival on Sunday meaning there will be almost no jet lag experienced by the players before the second leg in Sydney on Wednesday. It's unbelievable, it's top level, you can't ask for anything more. It's going to give us every chance to prepare as best as we can, midfielder Jackson Irvin said. The trip cost approximately $900,000 which the Football Federation Australia paid about $250,000 more than commercial options. It's understood FIFA contributed to travel costs for both teams. We're lucky we get to travel like this. We've got great support around us as you can see, it's a good bunch and it makes the journey a bit more enjoyable. We're lucky we get great facilities like that, Wright said. The Socceroos will be aided by the return of three players who did not make the journey to Honduras with Vice-Captain Mark Milligan and Matt Leckie returning from suspension while Robbie Cruz was rested due a minor knee injury. The three stayed in Australia last week and prepared with Melbourne Victory's physio and fitness coaches before joining the squad on Sunday. All three are likely to start on Wednesday, adding to the Socceroos' benefit in the turnaround between games.